Hi all, I thought I'd do a bit of a quick update on the Apple Watch, um, now that I've been using it for a day. Um, one thing since I haven't worn a watch in many years is I was expecting to whack it on all sorts of stuff. Um, I've only hit it on my um, steering, uh, my seatbelt on the car when getting out of it and it hasn't done any damage or anything, so it's, um, it's pretty cool. Um, it seems really pretty light when you're wearing it. You don't uh, you don't really notice it after a couple of hours, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's uh, definitely nice. Uh, and the uh, the band doesn't seem to get, get loose during the day. I went for a bit of a walk and a quick jog, and um, yeah, it seems pretty pretty solid. So um, you don't have to worry about it sort of getting loose throughout the day. So that's um, that's cool. Um, did a quick charge last night, um, yeah that was all pretty easy, no problems. Uh, in terms of battery life, um, what have we got? Uh, 90% and it's um, almost 12 o'clock now so it's doing, doing pretty well considering how much I'm using it. Um, in terms of what I'm using, the notifications are pretty cool, you can slide down to get all your previous notifications. Um, so that's cool. I've been uh, doing a lot of, you know, I did some Siri with it to reply to some SMSs and that worked well. Um, the, the band has definitely grown on me a lot. I really quite like it now. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. It's, um, it's looking good, I think. Uh, third party apps are really terrible. Uh, like this, um, I've got two on here that I'm using. Uh, the OneNote app, which is uh, basically just blank when it loads. It usually loads quicker than this, but um, yeah, the uh, third party apps are not good at this stage. Um, so that's taking way too long to load. Uh, let's just ignore that. And then Argus also. Hmm, I wonder if it's because I'm filming on the phone that it's not working, but. Everything else works really well, um, but third-party apps are definitely room for improvement. The um, watch faces definitely are cool. I'm currently using the, I think it's the modular one, but I would like some more customizations because um, the utility, which we, yeah, the utility one I quite like, but I wanted to have a f some different things down the bottom and top, and you can't necessarily customize everything as much as you'd like. Um, the astronomy one is really cool, um, but again, you, you can't even customize it. So I'm sure Apple are going to release some more customization options with the next update. Um, yeah, look, it's really cool. It doesn't really feel like an Apple product in a lot of ways. Um, it's uh, just because everything's like white on black and stuff like that. Um, it feels a bit different, but it's really quite fluid. I haven't had any speed issues except for the third party apps. You know, it's really responsive, um, works well. You can you know, rotate this pretty nicely. And yeah, it's cool. Um, the iOS app has heaps of stuff in it. Um, you can do all your updates from the iOS app, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's, um, yeah, all the apps, the built-in apps are quick and load instantly, basically. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah, one thing I have noticed with the the way the watch wakes up is it basically is when you turn your wrist in, it wakes up instead of bringing it up. So it's really quite easy to wake it up without moving your, your flailing your arms around a lot. So that's quite good. Um, it's better than I expected and the screen wakes up really quickly. I was expecting some delay, but uh, no, nah, it's pretty quick. And yeah, as you can see, it's... Um, totally smooth like it's a really smooth feeling device it's good it's still going to take me a few days to really get used to everything it does but yeah i'm pretty happy with it so far bye